In this video, we'll be looking at how you can modify height and width within CSS. So as you get more advanced in the CSS, you'll see that you need to start being more exact with your measurements, and both the height and width properties can be applied to almost any element within inside CSS. We saw in margins and padding that we could have dimensions such as the length could be defined in pixels, centimeters, and percentage. It's the same thing with height and width. So same with the following element here, we can see this element has been adjusted to by not only 200 pixels, but also a width of 50%. So you can either be accurate to the pixel or you can use the percentage of the browser. I suggest that you use the pixels if you know there's a fixed resolution. So maybe you're working on a, a, mobile, a mobile phone sort of type of website, or if you're um, working with a particular resolution. The percentage is really good if you don't know what resolution the person will be working in, in the website. So how's this look in the code? It's the same thing as any, any other dimensions. You just call it up and you apply it to the selector. So it's height here by 200 pixels and we've got the width here by 50%. So you can also set the max width. Now, this is really good when you say minimize a browser like so. Sometimes you don't want a particular element becoming too large, especially if we shrink it or um, make it too, we have a very high resolution. So, you can look down here in the code, we have in this example here, max width of 500 pixels and the height of, five, of 100 pixels. So if you look at this here, no matter how big this frame is, this area here, it will not go any wider than 500 pixels. And as I said before, if you're working with unknown resolutions or you're working with fixed resolutions, sometimes you might want to work with those sort of requirements. So my advice to you is to always think about the resolution that you're targeting for the um, website. If you don't know what it is, say it's gonna be across many devices, whether it's a mobile phone, tablet, PC, then you need to start thinking probably more along the percentages rather than using fixed pixels.